Well, Mikhail, it's been seven years, and that was a close way to tap it off and, and win the Amstel again. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't really think about it. You know, that it was seven years. I mean, it, it, it's just the the last period, last couple of weeks, last months. That that was very difficult period for me. I don't look that far behind. I mean, it's last seven years, it, it's, it's a massive period, but. It's more important what, what happened yesterday, what happened in the previous week and it was just pure happiness what I feel right now because, you know, it, it was very difficult start of the season for me. I was going uh, through COVID in February, I had to rebuild my race program and, and as well post Catalonia. I was dealing with the flu, my family was sick and, and the, I had the feeling that it's everything going in the wrong direction, but here I am, you know, winner of Amstel Gold Race, and that was just amazing to hear that I won the race because when I found myself alone and then Costa Fuai joined me, it was all about you know winning from from that moment because the team rode amazing today. We we execute the race to perfection. We had the plan uh, that we follow. Uh, we took. You know, like kind of responsibility of chasing everything from uh, from the start of the race with Florence the Plus, and then later on with Luke Rowe, and 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 then we really put the hammer down with Ben Turner on on Kruisberg. Then he's proving so useful, and then Pitcock here on in the final to set it up for you to counterattack. Yeah, I mean we we. We, we, we are discussing with Tom what to do, like kind of, you know, we, we put the hammer down on, on Kontienberg as well. So we make that group much smaller and we find ourselves in a really comfortable position, having two guys and the strong group. And we were pretty sure that we will be able to to use that in the, in the right moment. Because, you know, that obviously there's Kauberg, Bemeleberg and those, those climbs towards the end, but you can really having numbers and the front group and Dylan in the second group kind of play playing your cards when uh, when you have that uh, like kind of uh, you know chance of, of just accelerating in the moment that peop the other guys had to chase. And that worked in your favor as opposed to like a Vanderpool that just had himself to rely on there in the final. And what were you thinking once you're once you're away with Benoit? How are you going to play that out? How are you going to try to win that sprint? I yeah, I was only there to to kind of win the race. I I knew that it's all about you know winning, uh, you know having Tom there and how we race today. When Kosovo joined me, I know it's up to him to to make to maintain the gap, and I let him just do the most of the job because for me it was all about winning the race. I couldn't see myself being second because we were there, we execute the race, like kind of, we had this plan to, to, to have the numbers in the front and that would exactly happen. So for sure I wasn't there to, to be second and, and you know, I, I was trying to do the right thing. Um, you know, I think Kostnefoy did the most of the job. And so you, you forced them to do the most of the work? Yeah, because obviously I, I just heard on the radio Thomas in, in the group behind, so so I think he was aware uh, of that as well. Benoit thought he won. Benoit thought he won. Yes, I mean, he thought that he won. Yeah. So so uh, what I what I can say, I mean, it's uh, life teach me that uh, you have to be patient. I, I was. In a similar situation in Milano San Remo that we were we we were not sure of, uh, about you know who won at the race so I, for me it was super sad to, to hear that I'm second you know I was just all apologizing to my teammates because uh, they were really counting on on us you know and uh, I was counting on myself so that was difficult to hear that I'm second but then the happiness came so that was great euphoria. So you heard your second, and then you heard your one. So it was a roller coaster. Yeah, it was a roller coaster. So uh, very emotional. Yeah. Congratulations. Well deserved. Well deserved. Thank you. Thank you.